need to be an independent her. I would just go full in, possibly reaching a goal that I said I wanted when I was 16. Mm. Welcome to We're Not Dead Yet. I'm headed outside of Atlanta to historic Canton to meet a woman who is reinventing herself. Our friend Begonia, the Spanish chef from an earlier episode, told me about her. We'll follow her under the heading of unearthing an old dream. Tracy Carnes was a stay-at-home mom and an opportunity came up at a reuse development. Uh, some Investors bought a abandoned cotton mill that used to make denim. It's a 120 year old brick and stone building and they are turning it into restaurants and shops and spas and there's a brewery. So Tracy seized on an opportunity with a communal retail concept as a creative way to launch her new business. Let's go shopping. So we're here. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you like the content that you see and hit the little bell and the little like button. Tracy, thank you for having me in your store. <laughs> yes, you're um, welcome. And the name of your store is Boundless? Yes. Just Boundless. Boundless, yes. Very just good. Limitless and whatever possibilities might be here. What did you go to school for? I went to the Art Institute of Atlanta for oh. fashion marketing. And I had hopes and dreams of being a buyer and a stylist. Um, I had some opportunities, internship programs um, at my school. I realized this was definitely what I wanted to do. And then motherhood happened and you became a stay-at-home mom? Yes. Like me and so many <laughs> others and of it, us. And, and then I put all the, the hopes of being some big buyer in New York or even owning my own clothing store. I put that on hold because I didn't realize Kind of makes me emotional how rewarding motherhood could be. Yeah. Yeah. And so, how many kids do you have? I have four and a grandbaby. How could you be a grandmother? I know. Uh, <laughs> You're right. gorgeous. <laughs> it's the lighting. <laughs> <laughs> so, you started doing some stuff on the side somewhere along the way. You talk about your traveling show. <laughs> yes. I, um, my youngest daughter had a um, metal allergy, and I love to dress her up. So it started me out early when she was like three years old, maybe making some little Michaels beads and plastic beads. And then um, somewhere along the way, it was a school fundraiser, not a school fundraiser, it was a baseball fundraiser. I thought I could make some jewelry and you know, we could sell that. I could donate it to the team. And so I started making jewelry and then I played with that for a little bit, um, a few years. And then I remembered that clothing looks better with jewelry <laughs> and my jewelry would look better with clothing so I started buying small amounts of clothing and reselling them and then having little trunk shows at my mother's office here in Canton Wow and so it became something that I did once a month and then um, I was able to get into the local schools and I would set up um, a space in um, an extra classroom and let the teachers shop and then I started branching out I got a tent I got a portable dressing room <laughs> and I would do fairs fairs, craft shows, um, sure. and it became my little thing that I enjoyed, but it was hard work. It let me have some creative juices, maybe let me have some Christmas money, Yeah. Um, and it was also something that I shared with my daughter. It was teaching her customer service, handling money, um, so I felt like it was a win-win for both of us. This is a fabulous store. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tell me how this came about. It was actually um, just a random phone call from um, new business owners that owned or were going to own um, a place called the Cotton Mill Exchange in my local town and they had heard that I was a traveling boutique. They wanted um, a new style of shopping for people. Would it be home goods, um, clothing, um, arts, antiques? So um, I came, walked the space and I fell in love. I fell in love with the brick wall. I fell in love with the history. Um, I was thrilled that it was in my hometown. Yeah. So um, it was something that I felt like 
everything aligned perfectly and I had to just take that jump from my little trailer and pulling things around to different um, shows and maybe have my own brick and mortar, my own space. Mm -hmm. And I love to decorate, so it was, I was excited about everything that that would, um, would offer by being basically a brick and mortar. My oldest daughter was moving out the same week that I had the interview for here. And um, I was trying to help her move in, trying to help her become an independent her. And I think at the same time, I was thinking, I need to be an independent her. <laughs> so um, I decided when I, after I interviewed here that I wanted, I wanted to be more than a booth. I wanted to be a boutique and that I would just go full in and just see where that led me because I was going through some personal changes myself where my kids are getting older. I spent 24 years putting motherhood first and and for once it was, I didn't feel extremely selfish saying, I wanna do this for me. It kind of jump started this, the old me that got kind of displaced in motherhood. And so I was, I was excited for possible new personal growth, possibly reaching a goal that I said I wanted when I was 16. Mm -hmm. It's been good, I mean, and I, when, you, when you're at home with your kids, I kind of feel reclused from everybody. Mm -hmm. So it was a way, I have coworkers now. <laughs> um, even though this is my store, I still, um, I'm in a bigger store. Right. So it, it's nice to have that camaraderie, and yes. it made me have this new sense of independence, even though this is just a hobby. Um, my hope is that it becomes a little more than a hobby. You also offer styling services, yes. right? So, um, I want to be styled. <laughs> I would love to do that. Um, especially great. if you'll let me just, you know, I want to say decorate you in a second. Okay! <laughs> I love it. So these are some crinkled joggers. Um, I personally am a huge jogger fan. Mm -hmm. I, um, I love a little bit of an elastic waist. <laughs> it makes me feel very self-confident. I, I don't know. I love it. And the fact that you can wear them cuffed or regular like I have mine down. Oh, can so you? Can oh, okay. Wear them cool. Along. And then you can throw them on real quick with like some heels, some booties, or even cuffed right. You can put them on with some cute little sneaker, a little funky little Skilled. sneaker. Right. Um, but this is kind of like the vegan leather. Mm -hmm. And so I think these are really great. I think these will transition into the holidays. And I think you could also throw them on with a t-shirt and some sneakers and just wear it out for the weekend. Are there rules for women of our age <laughs> anymore? I mean, well, sure, there have to be some rules, right? But yes. what, what do you recommend for styling women of our age? Um, I think you shouldn't judge it on the hanger uh -huh. or on the mannequin. Okay. I think if your gut says, oh, that's cute, you should try it on. Okay. Because until you put it on, everything has its own identity off the hanger. Mm -hmm. And then when you put it on, I think that's where you start saying, okay, is this appropriate? Meaning, for me, I think the biggest thing I've realized in my 40s is how short something is. <laughs> I think that's the only rule that I think yeah. applies for me is if it's a little short, I feel like it becomes a little more juniorish. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the only thing that I, because trends, um, you know, just one hit wonder kind of season clothing, I think we should all be able to wear that. Yeah. I think it's just more, um, if you don't feel pretty in it, I think you should take it off. Gotcha. If your confidence goes down ever so slightly, take it off. All right. And if you don't feel like you can rock it, I think you should take it off. I love that advice. All right, and I love this little shell here. Mm -hmm. I love the shoulder pads. I love this neck detail. Mm -hmm. I think this could go super young to all ages. Mm -hmm. I think this is a powerful top. But I also think that layering is my key. I think that's how you can keep outfits fresh, is keeping them layered, unexpected. Doing new. Yeah, you know, whether it's just things. putting a satin top on over that as a jacket, or putting like, this is like a Sgt. Pepper uh -huh. um, jacket. I love all the detail in this. Everybody knows you can always um, turn to a denim jacket. Right. But sometimes that gets a little Oh, I love this. And then don't forget your accessories. And now this piece is yours. Yes, this is one of um, my signature pieces. I've had it for about five years now. It's, um, it's just a natural bone cross. Most all of my stuff has an antique 
kind of vibe to it mm -hmm. or a distressed metal but now, see really I like that pretty. and like you could put that on like right now you're rocking the bare feet but I, think you could wear, <laughs> I am rocking the bare feet. I think you could wear like a little booty here mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. even a heel to dress it up uh -huh. remember you can cuff the pants yeah and then if you were to strip this down and just put like a fun little t-shirt with those joggers put on some of those cute little sneakers that maybe don't even have laces so I think you could wear it a lot of ways and I, this shirt okay. with a pair of Boyfriend jeans or uh -huh. some dad jeans, I think, would be so cute. And love. the dad jeans, again, are? Well, to me, they are a version of the boyfriend, but kind of like mom jeans. They're a little higher uh -huh. rise. And so um, you'll see out there mom jeans, dad jeans, boyfriend jeans, yes. girlfriend jeans. Again, all I can say is you should try them on. And see Don't what? let the name throw you off. High waist and mid rise, those are some key things and you need to know what works for your body. Mm -hmm. I think this is so cute. I love it. I do too. Well, let's try something else. Okay. Tracy, this is an example of something I would not have pulled off the rack. I'm terrible at having the vision and I was skeptical, but it is very cute. I love it. I, I love it. It looks good on you. I, I love like it. it a lot. And I, that's what I'm hoping that um, my customers can start doing that. I'm going to try to style mm -hmm. um, um, a couple of nights a week, at least through the holiday season to see yeah. if it catches on. Yeah. So kind of guide um, what I can see of your body shape with yeah. what I know. I've usually tried on everything in the store to right. know how it fits, even if it's not for me personally, because I do have sizes you know, zero to three eggs. Not everything is intended for me. Right. So, um, but I'm glad you like it. I but do. I would also say, um, of course, this piece of yours is gorgeous. Oh, thanks. Let's get rid but, of that. Um, we can do it longer. We can keep it on there. The earrings, cool. Here's the other thing I'm terrible at accessorizing. Well, costume jewelry is great because it's affordable. Yeah, it is. So you can have pieces and I, majority of my jewelry I have made. So mm -hmm. this is like a vintage key and just kind of ornated with things. I've had people bring me certain pieces and I've made them for weddings. The keys are very popular. Yeah. I've had people bring me their great grandparents' skeleton keys out of an old uh, bar, and I've turned it into something special. Nice, so, um, anyway, I love it. Yes, so with accessories, but anyway, I, I always you. say layer up. Um, not everybody's as cold natured as I am, so I always have to have a layered up. Uh -huh. Again, this is another spin on the denim jacket, sometimes just a different color whether it's cropped, this one's got puff sleeves, just gives it um, a little more detail. Mm -hmm. I love it. Again, you could put it, you've got your heels right now, but I mean, right. you could put this on with some boots, mm -hmm. with some booties. Mm -hmm. This dress, I think, could go into spring or the end of fall with some sandals even. Mm -hmm. So I think you just got to learn to play up, and bralettes are very popular, so if the plunging necklines are a little more than you're, you want to do mm -hmm. at whatever age we're talking about, right. the bralettes can come up higher a lot of people are a little self-conscious. Um, they even have high neck ones. So even if you see something like with a plunging neckline, mm -hmm. you gotta think outside the box and think I can put like a layering top underneath it or those really tight um, tank tops mm -hmm. and cover areas that you might not be nice. as confident as about. Right, um, anymore. Yeah, and, <laughs> and like the cap sleeves, I hear women say, I don't like to show that off. Uh -huh. Well, let's find a lightweight sweater. Let's find a silky top that you can throw over that because that dress doesn't have to be sleeveless. The shirt doesn't have to be sleeveless. We can make it layering and uh -huh. you won't get too hot. We right. Think about that too. Right. <laughs> but if you don't, if you're self confident about, I mean, self conscious about your arms or whatever. Yeah. 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 And like for me, I'm self conscious about my legs. Uh huh. So I have discovered that knee boots are my new best friend. Oh, really? And I actually thought knee boots were for a little bit younger. But I'm happy with wearing something about mid knee or right at yeah, your knee. Yeah, that way you can wear the short dress and yes. still cover up a little and bit. And then more. I put the knee boot on, and I've literally got two inches of my thigh showing, and I'm more confident. And so I'm like, embrace the knee boot. There's no age at that because literally less of my body is showing. Yeah. Than if I'd have put a pair of heels on or booties. I hadn't thought about that. And my self conscious area is my knees <laughs> and my thighs. So I'm covering. I know how it feels to want to cover this. up certain areas, but I think this is I a love great this. look. Super cute. I love it. <laughs> so talk to me about the challenges you faced. So um, nine weeks after we opened this store and I became my first ever brick and mortar, we shut down. <laughs> so we shut down for six weeks, and in that I had to um, figure out, I'm not very computer savvy, I had to figure out how to have a website, mm -hmm. how to possibly ship. Um, 
and I had to teach myself that. Well, to some people that's not hard, but for right. me, no, it, I was, guess it was challenging. So um, I felt defeated like a lot of people did. Yeah. And then um, also I had things that needed to sell. My clothes are seasonal, so my spring inventory couldn't wait till we came out of the pandemic. <laughs> so you've embraced social media as well as another tool? Yes. Um, it's been... It's been a challenge also. <laughs> I was really good at Facebook, but Instagram, um, again, is... It, it's, it was a learning beast. curve for me as well. Yeah, it's truly yeah. its own beast. So it is. Um, I'm trying to do that and um, take the pictures because pictures say a lot. And mm -hmm. unfortunately, most of the time you'll see it's me. <laughs> because it's me in here trying to take pictures of myself. And so it's selfies. Right. And, um, I, I love sequin denim. I, this is my jam. I love sparkly things. <laughs> Me too. I'm like, I shiny. wear sequins every day. And I love it paired with denim, like that old saying, denim and pearls. Now, front would you tuck. front tuck on this or no? You can. It's such a, yeah, if I would really just do just a tad there. Just a tad. And if it falls out, that's fine because this is a cropped shirt. Mm -hmm. And people sometimes panic when they see a cropped shirt. You know, worst case scenario, wear a spank tank top underneath it. Mm -hmm. If you're thinking that you're going to be raising your mm -hmm. hands up, put that underneath it. And that way, you know, you don't see the muffin top that most of us have <laughs> at this age. You don't see that. Tuck it away. But you can, um, I love a crop shirt. And I, I think mm -hmm. people need to try on things before they judge it because it shows off your assets. <laughs> Literally, it can show Literally. off our best curves. Uh -huh. When you have a shirt long like this, you don't really get to see what mm -hmm. might be our best asset. Mm -hmm. Literally. Okay. If you are in a situation where you will be lifting your hands, just put one of those body tank tops mm -hmm. or a bodysuit underneath the shirt. It's, you know, it's only going to be seen when you raise it up anyway. Um, I do have these um, long velvet trench coats that you could wear something like that with, with a pair of heels, like the dusters. Ooh. That could be really, really cute. Ooh. I'm always, even though you've got tons of bling right now, right. I would still put an accessory on. You would? Yes. Okay. So, um, that little bit of bling right there, just to give something. Um, you could even go one more layer of just some simple gold chain. I think that looks good. I, I love this. I love this look. And this would even be cute um, in reverse. Like if you were putting on a sequin skirt or sequin joggers, and then, then go a, basic up top. Yeah, you know, like, like a, a t-shirt, shirt, denim top. Yes. Yeah. I mean, even like maybe your kid's school, your high school, like a t-shirt, like that has some sort of graphic design oh. on it. So like a little sequin skirt with your kid's high school on it or their elementary school. Something cute. just a funky it up mm -hmm. and make it unexpected and make people look twice because we're worth it. looking twice for. Okay, I like that. Um, so tell me about this line of bags that you carry. I am smitten with these. Okay, so not gonna lie, so am I. These are Mary Frances and she has, um, they're all hand beaded and I go for the more extravagant designs. <laughs> you can get a more, um, like this one right here. It's a, it's a little more um, simple, not as ornate. And then she has what she calls her novelty bags, which are my favorite, hands down, um, where she just gets creative. And I mean, it's a little work of art, and you can I change an outfit it. with a handbag in a second. It's worth, it's an investment. Yeah. And it's something that, you know, you give somebody or you treat yourself to. I love them. I love them too. So since I've started this channel and I'm trying to interview somebody every week, I am running out of clothes. <laughs> I'm running out of outfits. So this was very timely. And that's what I want to be able to help other women do. Is I just love it. See something past, something hanging on a hanger. I love it. Yeah. And, you know, make us feel like we are rocking our next chapter. For sure. But when you go out and you want to feel good about yourself, make sure that the clothes and the accessories make you feel good. Even you if should. it's just carrying a beautiful purse, you that you're should like feel about. amazing. We yeah. deserve to feel amazing. I, do. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah.